साधना करु साधना करु साधना करु प्यारे साधना करु साधना करु साधना करु प्यारे साधना करु प्यारे Discussing this Kirtan, we saw how Kripaluji Maharaj advised us all to do sadhana, saying that it is through sadhana we will get the sadhya. In that sadhana, the mind is the most important, not the senses, because bondage and liberation is determined by the mind. That is why he advised us to do dhyan or meditation. And the object of meditation he suggested was rupa dhyan, the form of God. And along with that, the chanting of the names, virtues, pastimes, this is optional. How to do that meditation on the form also he mentioned that God doesn't have one particular form that everybody is supposed to meditate upon. It is all up to us. According to our own interest, we can make his form. Now, moving ahead from this, verses 17, 18 and 19. He said that you keep Sri Krishna's form in front of you, make it as you wish. But the essential thing is to develop a deep longing for him. This is the essence of bhakti. This is the essence of love. If you wish to know what you love, where is your mind attached? There is a simple test for it. Wherever your mind is attached, your senses hanker for that. If you say, you know, Swamiji, there's nothing in this world that really attracts me, but when I see the rasgulla, <laughs> then I start salivating at a very fast rate. That means your mind is attached to rasgulla, so your tongue, jivva, is hankering for the taste of it. If you say, you know, there's nothing at all in this world, but when I see my pota, my son's son, or my daughter's son, then I get vaikunt look. <laughs> that means your mind is attached to your pota, or nati. It is so attached that if somebody says, listen, now in old age, detach your mind and attach it to God, People say, you know, he is my Bal Gopal. <laughs> oh, if you have Bhagavad Drishti, if you are seeing God, then why only in your grandson, why not in all the grandsons? This is material attachment. So that material attachment, wherever it is, the senses long for that object. 
Now we wish to develop attachment in God. So what will be the symptom of such attachment? All our senses will hanker for Shri Krishna. The eyes will want to see him. The nose will want the aroma of his body, his camphor, his chandan. The ears will want to hear his murli. The tongue will wish to taste his prasad. In this way, our senses will hanker for Sri Krishna. That is the sign of increasing love. You know, in all of spirituality everywhere, desire is abhorred. Desire is something that dirties the mind. Desire is something that is to be shunned. So people say, all right, then I give up desire, but what do I do then? Do I not do anything? Giving up desire is only half the story. When the scriptures say give up desire, they mean give up the degrading kinds of desires. Those that pull the mind down, they don't say give up the desire for God. Give, they don't say give up the desire for God's knowledge, for God's darshan. These are the right kind of desires. Those desires have to be enhanced, have to be inflamed. That, after all, is spirituality and devotion. Talking about desire, who can have a bigger desire than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? He says, Yuga itam nimeshena chakshusha pravrisha itam shunya itam jagat sarvam govinda virahena me. He says, without seeing Sri Krishna, and a moment has become an age long. That is the intensity of his desire to shriek, see Sri Krishna. And the whole world is now appearing void. Tears are constantly rolling down the eyes. Imagine the intensity of his desire. Similar orders of desire are expressed by all the God-realized saints. So it is not that they became desireless. Desire is the natural energy of the soul. If you stop desiring totally, then you will have no desire to do good things either. So you have to replace the negative desire by the positive desire. So Kripaluji Maharaj here says, in devotion, you keep his form in front of you and develop an intense desire, parama vyakulata, to meet him. This parama vyakulta has been expressed in different terminology by the different Jagad Gurus and Acharyas. Somebody said Nish Nishreyasa. Somebody said Mumukshatva. Shankaracharya said Mumukshatva. Deep desire for salvation. So this desire for God has to be increased. You see, 
by our efforts we discussed you cannot remove maya you cannot even remove the yoga maya of god so what will happen by our efforts is we will attract god's grace and that god's grace accomplishes the impossible so a glance of his grace and the maya will release the soul and the soul will get this infinite bliss knowledge and love the so god is desirous of bestowing that grace but the question is do we want it do we really want his grace there was once a person of son he fought with his father and he went off he said i have got nothing to do with my father i will stand on my feet he went here he went there he tried various business ventures all of them failed finally he became a beggar so he was living in a hut somebody went and told the father that your son is living 3641 steps from your house you are such a rich man and your son is a beggar now the son may become kuput a bad son but you don't have a bad father a kubap so it is not nice of you to allow him to live there like this you should go catch his hand and pull him out of the hut the father said i am willing to do that but i have one condition what is that let him take one step in my direction the remaining steps 3640 i will take so people said when you are willing to take one step why when you you are willing to take 3640 steps then why are you placing a condition of one step why don't you say that i'll take 3641 steps hold his hand and bring him out from there the father said i am willing to do that as well but what is the guarantee that when i reach his hut he will want to come with me let him just take one step and express his desire the rest all i will do similarly we express our desire trying like this trying like that putting in our best effort and god sees the intensity of our desire that attracts his grace so only thing is that god cannot be cheated you can cheat in the world you know people cheat in the world oh tum to hamare pran pyare ho that si tum hamari pran pyari ho all this acting goes on in the world na if you try that with god you will get zero out of 100 because he is seated inside he has the xerox copy of every second no cheating possible there so you have to develop a deep longing for god you all have a longing that's why you've come here now there are differences in longing see when the pravachan took place in your city there were so many people attending they were all jigyasus but you all are pipasus So what is a jigyasu and what is a pipasu jigyasu is who wishes to know the intellectual curiosity is there what is all this swami ji talks about 
And Pipasu is somebody who is not satisfied by knowing. His thirst has been aroused. The pangs of hunger, spiritual hunger are there. He wants the experience. If the husband tells the wife, I am hungry, and the wife says, listen, let me tell you how the samosa is made. This is how the gulab jamun is made. The husband says, very good, so wonderful, but tell me what can I eat now? Yes, I will tell you this is how the kachori is made and this is how the pakori is made. <laughs> the husband will say, are you crazy? This cookbook is not going to fill my stomach. Similarly, that person who by his past sanskars has become a pipasu, who has got the hunger for God, is not satisfied merely by hearing. They want the spiritual experience. And that is why you all came here. So you do have the yearning for God, but there are degrees in it. And right now, it is very mild. That has to be increased. Always remember, you will not attain God through your sadhana. If you could attain God through sadhana, that is like purchasing Him. You purchase items in the world. How much is this? Uh, you know, it is $170. But over eBay, I was getting it for $150. You gave it to me for $140. All right, I'll give it to you for $145. You give him the money, the goods are yours. Similarly, you tell God, Oh God, how much will it be for God realization? <laughs> God says, listen, you do 5 crore japas and 10 ashwamed yagyas. <laughs> you do it. All right, come on. That's like purchasing him. In this case, he is a mulya. He doesn't have any price. So when there is no price there, you can never say, I have done this sadhana. Now God realization is mine. My right. So by sadhana, you can never accomplish the goal. Your sadhana only creates the deep desire. That is all for God. That is all. After that, it is God's grace. There was once a fakir, one Mia Sahab, he decided to go on Hajj. But when the time came for the Hajj, some problem arose. And Mia Sahab was forced to cancel his Hajj program. He felt very bad. The next day, next year, again he planned a Hajj Yatra. Again some problem arose. Again he was forced to cancel it. In this way, for 40 years in succession, he was forced to cancel his Hajj. The 40th time when he had to cancel it, he started crying like a baby, sobbing. Another Mia Sahab asked, What is the matter? Why are you crying like this? He said, This is the 40th year in succession that I was forced to cancel my Hajj Yatra. So the other Mia Sahab said, listen, I have done Hajj for 40 years. The fruit of that Hajj Yatra, you take it. And the Vyakulta, the hankering that you have got for Hajj Yatra, you give it to me. That is more important, the hankering, than the 40 Hajj Yatras. In other words, the physical drill we have done in our sadhana is not the point. But the longing we have generated for God is the point.